to somehow or other dedicate one's life to Srila Prabhupada's movement and bringing people to Srila Prabhupada's movement and Srila Prabhupada's lotus feet. Uh, now, of course, I understand uh, that I am acting as a guru. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I am acting as a guru. This is, he is a little slightly different philosophy. Actually, I found that last paragraph is very wonderful. The nectar of instruction from PrabhupadBooks.com. Uh, Prabhupada says, one should not become a spiritual master unless he has attained the platform of Uta Madhakari. A neophyte Vaishnava or a Vaishnava situated on the intermediate platform can also accept disciples, but such disciples must be on the same platform. And it should be understood that they cannot advance very well toward the ultimate goal of life under, the, under his insufficient guidance. Therefore, a disciple should be careful to accept an Uttam Adhikari as a spiritual master. Thank you for that. I mean, I tried to repeat the language. Hari bol. And you just gave Prabhupada's exact language, which is precise. Thank you, Prabhu. My obeisance is to you. And so what happens is, yes, the insufficient guidance. Now I'm going to bring down like a judge, bring the gavel down on the, on the desk of the judge. Bang. What is the judgment here? The judgment is insufficient guidance. And what is that insufficient guidance? It means if you take initiation from a person that's not an Uttamadhikari, even he's a Madhimadhikari, which you're not going to find in this con very easily, uh, but plenty of Kanistadhikari gurus, you will not be able to advance beyond your guru. And that's what's happening. That's what I've noticed here in Sacramento. <laughs> exactly what you've said. It's like a circular firing squad. Everybody's yeah. in a circle shooting a gun, shooting each other.